you primed your face, you put your makeup on in the a.m. and by the time dinner time rolls around, half of your makeup is gone, settled into fine lines. Does that sound familiar? And you've heard maybe that, well, you need to set it, but you're not quite sure. Setting powder, setting spray, what's the difference? What do I need? How is that different than finishing powder? Like all the questions we're gonna answer in today's video and I'm gonna do a demonstration. I have my foundation on this side of my face. I use primer on both sides. So foundation is on this side and I did my concealer under my eyes. So we're just gonna let that kind of settle in while I talk a little bit about setting spray because you wanna make sure that the foundation is, if it needs to dry down or anything like that, settle kind of into your skin, you don't wanna spray the setting spray right immediately after you apply your foundation. What is a setting spray? It is a mist that is designed to set your makeup in place. And there is a whole variety of setting sprays. If you have dry skin, you might wanna go more with, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter, the Long Lasting. This is, hydro, it has hydrolonic acid and watermelon fruit extract. Oily skin, you'd probably be looking more for a mattifying, depending on what look you're going. But again, there is so many different kinds. All Nighter, Urban Decay, they also have extra glow. So a wide variety, but they all are meant, if it's a setting spray, not a facial mist, but a setting spray is meant to help lock your makeup into place. When you're spraying, you want to try to not talk because you know the idea is that it's setting the makeup so you don't wanna talk and have it crease. And I'm going to use, this is the All Nighter Hydrolonic Acid one. You wanna make sure you shake the bottle and you wanna position it six to eight inches away from your face. If you have used setting sprays before and it kinda of seems like it's too wet or makes the makeup run, chances are that maybe you either didn't let your makeup, your foundation dry down enough or you had it too close or sprayed too much. So just kind of play around with it. I'm gonna cover this half of my face because this side is gonna be what we're gonna try setting powder with. Now, I just went like this, you know, but if you were doing your entire face, they say either do an X or this one also says a T. And I've also read to do like an M. So just kind of personal preference, I think, on that. Now, let me put on my foundation and concealer over on this side because here you don't need to let your foundation dry down as much as you do when you're using a setting spray if you're using setting powder. Setting powders are available both in pressed form, like this is Huda Beauty, or in a loose form. If you're happy with the coverage that you have, then a setting powder in translucent would be your best bet. If you need a little bit more coverage, color from what your foundation is, then you can get colored, or tinted, I should say, tinted setting spray, tinted setting <laughs> powders. And you can apply it either with a brush and do more a dusting, or you can apply it with a powder puff.
if you are a returning friend, thank you so much for coming on back. It means the world to me. So happy to have you here. If you are just meeting me for the first time, hello, my name is Stacy, and I love all things fashion, beauty. Throughout my life, there has been times where people have made me feel like fashion is not important, and maybe you've had people like that too, or you're of a certain age and you kind of are feeling a little invisible. Well, here on Stacy Lee Beauty, we like to celebrate our love for fashion and makeup and skincare. We don't apologize and we love to celebrate and we love to that it lifts us up. At least it lifts me up when I do my makeup and when I'm feeling good with my outfit. So if you love all things fashion and makeup, skincare, then I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button. It is free to do. It doesn't spam you or anything. It just makes me show up in your subscription feed. And if you've subscribed to a lot of people, if you wanna hit that notification bell, then it will just pop up and say, hey, I did a new video. I put out fashion-related videos on Sunday, beauty-related videos on Thursday, and spoilers and unboxings just throughout the week. That's why it's good to hit that little notification bell because some of them are time sensitive. And what else? If you have not already, I really hope that you'll hit that subscribe button as I mentioned because I am, I do have a personal goal of reaching 5,000 YouTube friends by the end of 2024. So I hope that you will help me get there by hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. All right, now let's get into, all right, now let's talk more things, setting spray and setting powder. Most people are gonna mostly need the setting powder, which I'm getting all over in your T-zone. mentioned setting powders also come in a variety. This is, you have the Makeup Forever. Their translucent is more of a real white cover X, Cover FX, this is translucent light. Now, Laura Mercier, she has a translucent powder, but this is a celestial light, and it has a little bit of a shimmer in it. The yellow banana setting powder. So how I thought that I would test of what really sets your makeup is, I don't know if this will work or not, but I have two paper towels here. I'm going to press each of them into each side of the face and we're gonna see if which one has more transfer or if they're the same. I'm just lightly pressing. Hey. Hey. Did any come off? It might be hard to see. There's a little tiny amount like right here on the setting side, setting side, setting spray side. And I see absolutely none on the powder side. As far as transfer proof, that if you want absolutely no transfer, then go with setting powder. If you don't mind a little transfer, then setting spray. Now you can use your setting spray on top of your powder if you want, because the powder is usually going to give a matte finish, where unless you're buying a mattified setting spray, you're going to get more of a glowy finish. I don't know if that's coming across more hydrated, glowing than the powder side. When you're making a choice, if you wanna do the setting spray or setting powder, or combination is your skin type. If you have oily skin, usually a setting powder is gonna be your best bet. If you have dry skin, then I would say to use the powder very minimal. As you can see, I put, even when I use the powder puff, I didn't bake what they call, and that is when you really heavily put the powder on and let it sit there and bake. <laughs> but I have dry skin, so just lightly did it or use a, pow or a brush and just kind of lightly set it that way. And as far as settling into the creases or my wrinkles, I feel like right here that the setting powder actually helped it not crease right there. My forehead lines on this side, I feel like are less noticeable than this. Do you agree? 
Now before, don't go yet, before we get to, I'm going to show you the different setting powders that I have here and then also compared with the finishing powder on my face so you can see the difference. Before we get there, I wanna say if this is being, if this is helpful for you and you want kind of a cheat sheet for the difference between a setting spray and a setting powder, I have a PDF free. I will have that link down below. If you want to click that and get that PDF free, it will sign you up for my mailing list. Don't worry, I won't spam you because I haven't sent out one yet, but I'm working on trying to just, you know, periodically sending out an email, maybe like once a month or something. And I just thought that that would be a good way if I'm doing giveaways or something to be able to have communication with you. Let me know if this is helpful. And question of the day, because this is the, well, this is Blondie, but it's basically a banana color found. Why do I keep saying foundation? A banana kind of powder. My question of the day is, do you like bananas? Because I know some people love them, some people don't like them at all. I really like it, especially banana bread and banana shakes and all that. So question of the day, do you like bananas? Let me know down below. All right, now let's talk about the, we've talked about the differences in the setting sprays. There's so many different ones. Let's talk about the differences in the setting powders. And let me show you on my face. I'm gonna put the powder on heavy so that you can see the difference. This is the Makeup Forever. This is a setting spray, translucent, and it's more of, or it is white. So I'm gonna use the clean portion of the powder puff. I put some in the lid. What I was using in the video is Cover FX, and this is what that looks like. So I'll put that on. Here is the Laura Mercer one that I was talking about. And again, this is Celestial Light, so it does have a little bit of shimmer to it. Then we have the Pressed Setting Powder. This is from Huda Beauty the Easy Bake and Snatched. The Bare Minerals Translucent Finishing Powder. So I'm gonna take my brush, just kinda brush everything away. Can see how this one you can't really see any color the banana or the Huda Beauty Blondie I think that you can see the yellow is still showing so if you're going to use something like that you have to go very light-handed here is the finishing powder so can you see how it's a little heavier and it's kind of making my under eye right here look more crepey than over here that's just like all you see. So if you have, if you don't have wrinkles maybe, but I don't know if that was helpful to see it this way. It's kind of hard. I will put up swatches. Maybe that will give a better feel, but hopefully that was helpful. I mean, there's not a huge difference between the colors, but I don't know. Hopefully that gives you a good idea. I'd love to know if you've tried any of these also, yes, is this video helpful? Is there something that I didn't address that you are questioning or curious about? Let me know. And again, this was this video came about because someone asked for a comparison of a setting spray versus setting powder. So if you have something that you are curious about, you know, what's the difference between these, either two types of products or two brands or anything like that, please let me know down below because I love getting your suggestions. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a, a wonderful weekend. And actually I have a BoxyCharm spoiler video coming up, uh, Fashion Trends Fall Part Two. 
and a brand deep dive. So hit that subscribe button and join me here again. Thanks. Bye.